Welcome back. Today we're making a few religious Easter projects. I'm starting out with a wooden cross I found at the Crafter's Square area of Dollar Tree, iridescent stickers from Walmart. I'm going to use the smallest stickers and frame out this cross so after I paint it, it looks like beading. And I use a white apple barrel mat to cover the cross. Once the paint dried, I used a little wax to distress around the edges of the cross and just a little in the middle. I painted over the wax in the middle. I wasn't completely happy with it, so once the second coat of paint dried, I added a little khaki to distress because this color is a bit softer. I stamped He Has Risen in the middle. Now this is dry, I'm going to add this purple wisteria as a drape around the cross um, instead of having purple cloth. I thought it would be really interesting and pretty to use a floral and it's long enough. I'm going to take a few of these craft eggs and paint them and use a few of these Easter stamps on them and some of these ribbon transfers just to add a few custom eggs to my basket. My eggs are complete and I went ahead and painted one matte black just to have a complete set of six. And for a few of them, I just want to use uh, my stamper and um, put a few 
Easter religious related. For my black egg, I'm going to use this stamp that looks like a cross. I think that will look really nice. Okay, and I'm using this Pink Studio G ink. Beautiful. I love it. I'm painting a small Dollar Tree crate with brown oxide to make an egg holder. Once the paint dries, I use Dollar Tree stickers and glue stick to add eggs 25 cents to the front of the crate. To make the sense sign, I snipped up a number eight and an exclamation mark. I then moved on to adding a bit of Spanish moss inside and then set my eggs in and this project was complete. I used matte black to cover this wooden square from Dollar Tree. Once the paint was dry, I used a metallic marker I found in the Crafter Square area of Dollar Tree to write, I know that my Redeemer lives, Job 19.25. And using rub-on transfers from the crafter square area I snipped out just a single piece and added that to the bottom of the wood plaque now the stickiness was not there so I had to get a piece of scotch tape to hold this transfer down and then I was able to get it to come off onto the wood Then I used metallic gemstones to add a single little faux rivet into each corner of this plaque. It's simple, but I think this is really beautiful. Really happy with the way all of these turned out, but I think the Redeemer plaque is my favorite out of all of them.